Acts of the Apostles, chapter 24. Trial before Felix. Five days later, the high priest Ananias came down with some elders and an advocate, a certain Tertullus, and they presented formal charges against Paul to the governor. When he was called, Tertullus began to accuse him, saying, Since we have attained much peace through you, and reforms have been accomplished in this nation through your provident care, we acknowledge this in every way and everywhere. Most Excellent, Felix, with all gratitude. But in order not to detain you further, I ask you to give us brief hearing with your customary graciousness. We found this man to be a pest. He creates dissension among Jews all over the world and is a ringleader of the sect of the Nazareans. He even tried to desecrate our temple, but we arrested him. If you examine him, you will be able to learn from him for yourself about everything which we are accusing him. The Jews also adjoined in the attack and asserted that these things were so. Then the governor motioned to him to speak, and Paul replied, I know that you have been the judge over this nation for many years, and so I am pleased to my defense before you. As you can verify, not more than twelve days have passed since I went up to Jerusalem to worship, neither in the temple, nor in the synagogues, nor anywhere in the city did they find me arguing with anyone or instigating a riot among the people. Nor can they prove to you the accusations they are now making against me. But this I do admit to you, that according to the way which they called a sect, I worship the God of our ancestors, and I believe everything that is in accordance with the law and written in the prophets. I have the same hope in God, as they themselves have that there will be a, re a resurrection of the righteous and the unrighteous. Because of this, I will always strive to keep my conscience clear before God and men. After many years, I came to bring alms for the nation and offerings, while I was so engaged, they found me, after my purification in the temple without a crowd or a disturbance. But some Jews from the province of Asia, who should be here before you to make whatever accusation they might have against me, or let these men themselves state what crime they discovered when I stood before the Sanhedrin, unless it was one outcry, as I stood among them, that I am on trial before you today for the resurrection of the dead. Then Felix, who was accurately informed about the way, postponed the trial, saying, When Lysus, the commander, comes down, I shall decide your case. He gave orders to the centurion that he be kept in custody, but have some liberty, and that he should not prevent any of his friends from caring for his needs. Captivity in Caesarea. Several days later, Felix came with his wife, Drusilla, who was a Jewish. He had Paul summoned and listened to him speak about faith in Christ Jesus. But as he spoke about righteousness and self-restraint and the coming of judgment, Felix became frightened and said, You may go in for now. When I find an opportunity, I shall summon you again. At the same time, he hoped that a bribe would be offered him by Paul. And so he sent for him very often and conversed with him. Two years passed and Felix was succeeded by Portius Festus. Wishing to interrogate himself with the Jews, Felix left Paul in prison.